Team 2 meteorologist Jamie Jarosik with a Miami Valley's certified most accurate forecast. Checking out our Troy Stouter Center time lapse. We have started the day with some scattered clouds in the area. We've seen some sunshine and now some spots are going back to mostly cloudy. That's uh, what we're seeing here in Troy and that's kind of going to be a common theme for the day in and out of cloud cover where the sun's out for a bit and then the clouds thicken up. And even though we do have clouds around at times today, we're expecting a dry day ahead. So no threat of any showers. And we have a nice southerly breeze that has been kind of slowly increasing this morning. So now it's up at nine miles per hour. The southerly flow is going to draw in some warmer air. We're sitting right at 40. Our low temperature today will probably be right around 38, 39 degrees. Uh, which is our normal high for this time of year. So that southerly flow is keeping temperatures up and our current wind chill 34. So yes, it's going to feel a little chilly, maybe for another hour or so. But if you're planning a walk today, it will start to feel really nice as we approach uh, late morning and early afternoon, getting up to 46 at 10, 54 at noon, and then a high today of 60 if you walk later in the day. Again, a mix of sun and clouds and very mild, but the breeze is also going to be increasing. Again, winds have been pretty light this morning between 5 and 10, but you can see how they really start to increase going into the afternoon. They'll get up around 15 miles per hour and then even get close to 20 miles per hour late afternoon into the evening. So uh, just be prepared for a breezier day ahead. And it's all happening ahead of this area of low pressure and a cold front. Occasional rounds of clouds come through, but generally dry weather until this front gets a bit closer. That's when we'll see a few lighter showers move in by this evening and night. And tomorrow, we're not going to see that front come through because it's going to be another really warm day, up to 62. On Saturday, there will be a disturbance moving through, so that's our, sort of our transition day, and then things really turn a lot cooler for the second half of the weekend and most of next week. By the end of next week, we'll see highs in the 30s for a few days. Here's future track showing a partly sunny day ahead with dry weather expected for the drive home at five, but then those showers work in for the evening into the overnight. You can see it's light and very spotty and it's out of here by the drive to work on Friday. We'll start off with some clouds around tomorrow morning, but they will be decreasing going into Friday afternoon. Here's your forecast for today, a partly sunny, breezy and unseasonably mild day with a high of 60. Today winds will be south 10 to 20 and tonight they may gust as high as 30 miles per hour with that slight chance of a few light showers. Temperatures drop to, to 48 and then another really nice day tomorrow with decreasing clouds and a high of 62 degrees. Another disturbance comes in on Saturday, so that'll bring in more showers and it will limit temperatures to the mid 50s. Behind that system, it'll be chilly for Sunday and into next week. We could have some snow showers uh, mixing in there on Monday.